hi everyone in this video we are going to see about set table and get table in business central and also we will discuss about the two data types record ref and record id before we proceed i would like to tell you that this is my github page and here i'll be uploading all the programs which i am explaining in the video so you can use it for your reference and please start this page and the next one is this is my blog here i will be uploading all the instructions detail in a detailed manner so you can if you click on any one uh, blog and if you really feel that blog is very helpful to you so you can just follow my blog by clicking here and uh, this is my um, youtube channel so you can see here that i'll be uploading all the videos here uh, in a proper um you can see all the videos here and if you really like that this video that particular video any video which really helped you a lot to learn something and if you want to thank me if you want to show your support so you can click here thanks so i have already written the code before understanding the set table and get table let us know what is this two data type which we are using it here record id and record reference so to talk about record reference record reference object can refer to any table in the database okay so record is a database where you have record is a data type where you have to mention what table you are going to use okay it is specifically you have to tell what table you are going to use but if you use a record reference this can refer to any table in the database so you can use any table in the database okay provided you have to use an open method to mention which table you are going to use it okay so this is record reference and record id so record id which contains the table number okay you will be mentioning the table number which contains the table number and the primary key of the table so whatever the table you are referencing here this record id whatever uh, the variable you are creating as a record id we will be uh, holding we will be making it to hold the table number and the primary key of a table okay so this two data type we are going to use it for set table and get table so what is that set table so set the table to which record variable refers as the same table as a record reference variable so we will be using these two uh, these two data type in order to use set table and get table okay so this is our simple uh, program so i have created the simple program for a page okay so i have declared invent which is the record uh, where i am just holding the inventory event buffer this is a table okay inventory event buffer is a base table and this is record id where i am just going to hold the table number in the primary key of uh, of of whatever the table which i'm going to refer and this is a record reference where i can use any table for in my page or in my uh, program and this is another uh, another table which i'm just using so record pro uh, order component okay product order component this is an another table and also i am using the customer table okay so this is a simple example where i have created a page and in the page i'm not um, uh, i'm not using any table okay because i have already declared all the table whichever i need in the variable itself and in the action i have deleted the layouts part and here it is an action in the action i have created two methods that is sorry two actions one is the one action name is set get table and another one is get table okay so here you can see that two uh, uh, tables are here so what i'm going to do is what this example uh if you have a record id data type okay so we have a record id data type we are going to get record reference for that particular table that the record id refers to okay so basically the record id will hold the um, uh, that is a reference for that particular record id and we can use that record reference to set the table which the record variable refers to okay that is what getting the data and setting the data okay set data get data so that is what we are going to do it here okay so uh, in set table so what i have did is what i am going to find because i wanted to find i wanted to start from the first record and i want to find it from the last record so in record id so record id which it stores the 
this data okay that is inventory event buffer that is a source line id value will be stored in that so as i told i can use anything so i'm just using record reference so where i am getting the record okay i'm just getting this particular record and i am setting that particular record to the uh, product order okay this is a different this is a different table i hope you all can understand this is a product order component and this is an inventory table okay what i'm going to doing is what i am getting this uh, record and i am setting that value to the product order okay so this is what happening here with this and then with the get table i just wanted to print what i have got okay i am getting the some other variable field from the invent table and i am setting that uh, to the product order okay and get table so what basically the get table will do okay so the get gets the table of a record variable and causes the record reference to refer the same table okay so that is what we are doing it here so now let us just save it and execute it to see how it works uh, so it's already saved and this is my 50110 so i'm just going to change this 50110 save this and then execute it let us see what is happening here so here is the action so here you can see set table set get table if you click here now the inventory event buffer table is in empty so i am so sorry my event uh, that is there is no data there and if i click here get table because since it is empty it is showing 0000, 000, 000, 000 okay so it is assigning the value to that but i'm so sorry the table is empty you can try with a different table called customer table because the table might be there somehow you can just try that uh, in the uh, using the customer table and uh, something which is related to the sales line id or the sales order so whatever the uh, uh, table you have no you can just try that so this is the overview of what is set table and the get table if you have any queries please leave the query and i'll be very happy to uh, help you thank you take care bye bye